Hey guys, Nitno here. Today we are taking a look at how to build a base in Daisy. There are a couple different approaches you can take when building a base. I'm going to show you how to turn an existing structure into a base and also how to make a freestanding base that you could say place in the woods or somewhere more remote. For your first attempt at base building, I suggest adding a simple gated wall to an existing structure. I'll show you how to do that. Let's start things off with crafting a fence kit. A fence kit is created by combining a rope and two small sticks. Note that when you deploy the fence kit, you'll always start facing the inside of the fence. Next up, we're going to create the base of your structure. You will need two wooden logs that can be harvested by chopping down large trees. Place the logs and equip a shovel to start crafting your base. Before we start the lower and upper frame, I want to recommend that you bring a pair of pliers and metal wire and put it on the inside. That way if you do put up a wall, you're able to turn that into a gate and you're able to open and close it. I'll go over that more in a moment. Let's go ahead and start our lower and upper frame with each section requiring four wooden planks and eight nails. After making both the upper and lower frame, we'll do the same process for the lower and upper wooden wall. This time, the wall will require five wooden planks and 10 nails for each section. Now let's use that metal wire and the pliers that I talked about earlier. Let's go ahead and attach the metal wire and using the pliers, craft the gate. There we go. We now have a solid wall that acts as a gate that you can use to go in and out of your base. But you might be wondering, how do we keep this secure? In day Z, we have a couple options for locks. Combination locks come in variations of three combo locks and four combo locks. With modded servers often opting to use a code lock, this is basically a digital lock that's a little bit more customizable for the purpose of this video though, we're going to stick with the vanilla 3 and 4 combo locks. With the combo lock in your hand, simply click the left mouse button to switch between dials on the lock. To change the dial, hold left click. Make sure to remember the combination you set. You might want to even write it down. For this example, I am simply going to set the combo to 1, 2, 3, 4. Once your combo is set, walk to the corner of the gate and select attach. The combo lock will automatically scramble the numbers. To unlock, go ahead and put in the numbers we started with and the combo lock will go into your inventory. Additionally, you can add camo netting and barbed wire to upgrade your base. Now you have a place to call home. Alright, now that you know the basics of building a base, let's go ahead and build a freestanding base. The advantage of this type of base is that you can create it in the middle of nowhere and you'll have a better chance of no one finding it. Let's start things off with creating a watchtower. Watchtowers allow you to build a three story high fortification that will give you a great way to look over the walls and you'll be able to see your surrounding area pretty well. To create a watchtower kit, you're going to need one rope and four wooden sticks. Deploy the watchtower kit and once again we will be placing logs to create the base. This time we will need to attach 4 logs and then equip our shovel to start creating the watchtower base. Let's start crafting the wooden frame. Once again we will need 4 wooden planks and 8 nails for each section of the frame. I like to frame out all 3 sections first and then add the walls.
we will then be adding the upper and lower walls to each side. Again, each half will be 5 planks and 10 nails. Now that we have our first three walls built in our watchtower, let's start going up. Attach nails and planks to the option for the base first floor. Stand in the opening until you get the prompt to build roof. We can now add six wooden planks and 18 nails to build a set of stairs. There we go. But this time you will likely have an understanding of the process as we will be doing similar steps for the second and third floor. One difference for crafting the second and third floor base, instead of needing a shovel, you will need a hammer or a hatchet. We are going to go ahead and build the second and third floor with some slight differences on the third floor roof. I'll show you right now. For the roof of the third floor, we're going to need 6 metal sheets, 5 wood planks, and 20 nails to build. We also intentionally left the middle upper frame off of the third floor to create a window. You can add camo netting to give yourself even more cover and make this a great place to defend your base from. Let's use some of the knowledge we learned earlier to close up the base and add a couple walls and add a gate, that way we can lock it up. If you want some extra security, you can add camo netting and you can also add barbed wire around the perimeter of your base. Hey, now you can fit a vehicle if you find one and lock it up or maybe just put some barrels and some tents in there. Alright guys, this is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, I really appreciate you guys hitting that sub button, like button, or leaving a comment. Either way, have fun and daisy. Take it easy. Peace.